this will be available on our spring breakfast menu. So we're really excited about that. It's very healthy. It's a complete protein. So when you're eating it, it has the correct ratio of carbs, fat, protein. I like it. it it's, it's um, you know, I, I've had it uh, normally in a savory way, like a side dish, um, but it really is a neat texture uh, and it's something a little different and it's, e it's easy uh, to do. It takes a little bit of a time to cook, so we're boiling it. Um, We've got some uh, almond milk boiling here. Correct. But you could use regular milk, you could use soy milk, doesn't really matter, right? Right. Uh, mm -hmm. So we start that boiling, and then we add about how much of the um, It's milk? about a cup, okay. so a little. About like that? Yeah, almost. There? Yeah, that'll okay. be fine. Okay, okay. All right, so now we put the lid on it. Yes. Let it hang going. out, and it takes about how long? 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, and here's, here it is already done. How do you know it's done? Uh huh. Um, so when the quinoa is cooking, uh, you'll see a little tail that comes out, and the rest of the grain will puff. And you can see like the little tails that are coming out. Kind of reminds me almost of tapioca, the way it looks. Kind right. of, you know, or just like when um, wild rice puffs right, out. Right. Right. Exactly. So that's what you're looking for. Um, and you can also make peanut butter rice crispy treats with this. Really? We'll, we'll have to make that sometime. That'd be fun. Yeah, it's really, they're really good mm. and super healthy for you, but you also get a sweet treat that isn't that bad. Yeah, let's make those sometimes. So this is all done. Now we're going to jazz it up. So right now it probably doesn't have a whole ton of flavor, right? Right. Well, it, I mean, it has a toasted nutty flavor to uh -huh. it. And then with the almond milk, I like to use the vanilla almond milk because it's sweeter mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. But so that's, it has a toasted, slightly sweet flavor. Okay. And then um, you can take some raw sugar. Okay. So just sprinkle that in. And so while it's really warm like this and we're sprinkling it in, that's going to break it down and... Melt it up. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then a pinch of cinnamon. Oh, it smells good. And then um, toasted pecans for, and that'll give it a little bit more texture, mm -hmm. again, nuttiness. Toasted pepitas, which are the kernel of the pumpkin seed. Okay. So they have a lot of protein in them as well. And toasted almonds. We have a little bit of orange zest because that gives it its freshness. If you could okay. smell this at home, it smells amazing. Mix that the in. orange and the cinnamon and, mm. and, and that's it. That is it. So and then we're going to serve it and we're going to dress it up though. Slice some orange and then I'll just put a little of all this stuff on top. Yep. And, and here's it, a knife for you to slice up the orange. I really like to drizzle it with um, some honey? wild clover honey. I mean, of course, that's adding more sugar and not as healthy, but you can pick and choose how healthy you really want to be. And then some dried cranberries or cherries. That looks fantastic. And then you mentioned uh, earlier, Casey, that you guys do mimosa. Oh, yes. This is our newest mimosa that we have. Um, and our new stemware that I'm really excited about. Beautiful. So and this these is are blood orange mimosas. So they're already um, ready to go. Pretty ready color. Mixed. They're so delicious. Wow. Well, that's and a nice way to start the morning. Thank you so much, Casey, for sharing. Really, really appreciate it. Great recipes. And again, this breakfast quinoa, uh, if you don't want to make it at home, they'll have it actually at Cheesecake Heaven. It's a new part of their spring menu. Thanks again. Thanks for having us. We'll be back. Stay with us.